Hey, John Sonneman from SimpleProgrammer.com. So I've got an email question here about vacation, everyone's favorite topic, right? So uh, so let me get right into it, and I will give you my advice on this topic. Again, I have changed the names, or actually left out the names to protect the innocent uh, because of the sensitive nature of the emails that I often deal with. So uh, just want to say that also, if you have a question, don't worry, I'm not going to say your name. So you can go ahead and, and send me an email and I will probably read and answer that question without revealing your dark secrets to the world. Okay, so this question goes, uh, would love if you could address this question. If you do publicly, please don't use my name, okay? Um, I'm a developer with a current decent job, uh, 10 plus years experience. I'm currently looking to move employers. I found one, I've had an interview, and currently in back and forth with this new prospective employer. It's not a startup, but an established company. Their offer includes a nice bump in salary for me, but only two weeks vacation. I'm currently at a shade less than four weeks vacation. Um, I've countered their offer with a request for more vacation. Quality of life is important. I realize I'm go, uh, not going to work just to take vacation, but it's important to recharge the batteries, get family time with small kids, etc. The employer is American, whereas I'll be physically and remotely working outside the U.S. My questions I'm hoping you can answer. Have you seen U.S. employers stick to the common rule of two weeks for new hires, regardless of how senior the candidate is? I'm thinking it's odd that senior camps would be offered two weeks to start, same as junior dev out of college. I also realize this all may be the company culture, but perhaps it's an American attribute. Um, if you haven't before, can you talk about your thoughts on vacation and flexibility uh, with regards to tech employees? Big thanks, John. Love seeing your videos posted to Twitter. Okay, so here's the thing. In, in the U.S., I think that it's fairly common to find companies that are you know, two weeks for new hires and for them to stick to it, uh, mainly because they want to encourage uh, people to stick around so they don't want to start off people with, uh, with more vacation. It's kind of the thing that you get as you, you know, get more tenure there. So as you, if you've been there for five years, then you finally cap out at the four weeks or three weeks or whatever it is. Uh, I, I think in the U.S. in general, right, if you're from another country, you'll probably find that vacation is a lot less. I know that a lot of European countries have uh, four weeks vacation is pretty standard. Some are six weeks or, or more, and you have all kinds of benefits like very long maternity leave and things like that. In the U.S., it's not quite uh, not quite the same, right? Uh, I've, I've worked for a lot of companies, and I think, you know, two weeks is pretty standard. I've seen some some three weeks, and, and eventually, like in senior positions or as you move up with the company, you eventually get that, you know, wonderful four-week vacation. So that's kind of where you're at. Now, I don't think that this is this is a hill that I would say don't die on. And let me tell you why, right? I agree with you life work balance is important. I agree with you taking time off and vacationing is important, but ultimately it all comes down to money, right? This is the same thing, you know, I talk to consultants when consultants say, you know, I make so much money per year. Like, yeah, but you're not getting vacation. You're, you have to take the vacation yourself. So you have to take that out, you know, when you look at an hourly wage and, and benefits, but they can be equated to money, right? The, the difference between being an employee and a contractor, for example, uh, you know, employee gets all these benefits, but those even health benefits and whatnot that really as a contractor, you could pay for those things yourself. You could pay for your own vacation. So, right. So, so that you can really equate them when you, when you go down to the bottom line, which is, you know, what is the, the actual compensation? What is the actual package? And that's what I'd encourage you to look at with your employer. The one thing I would negotiate is just say, look, Here's the deal. I understand if you can only give me two weeks of vacation because of, you know, got to be fair and everything with the seniority of people that have been there. But if I wanted to take four weeks, could I take two weeks without pay? That's the question I would ask. And I would seriously, uh, you know, if it's really important for you, uh, then I would seriously make that a condition. And, and I think most employers are going to understand that, especially if you're out of the country and you're used to kind of longer vacation periods. If, if you say, hey, look, I love everything here. You know, I understand I don't want to rock the boat here, but if I want to take two weeks without pay in addition to my two weeks, you know, can I do that? And that's where, you know, it comes down to the numbers, right? Uh, if, if you're making more money and, you know, you're going to calculate exactly how much those two weeks of vacation are worth or two weeks without pay is going to be worth if it were a vacation, you can equate that and, and, you know, kind of mix and match. Maybe you can just get one extra week or maybe you can find, you know, can you get one week of, 
of paid vacation extra and one week of, of not paid, of, of taking it. Now, can you work comp time? That's the other thing I might ask to say, well, could I, you know, work extra hours and then take like a, a week of comp time if I put in 10 hour days for so much time? These things can be negotiated a lot more easy. You know, you, you, you kind of got to figure out wh where is the sticking point where someone's not going to negotiate and then what can you do around that? Because if you just go head to head on this vacation thing and say, no, no, I need to have more than two weeks of vacation, you might not get anywhere. You might lose the opportunity and, and it might not even be something worth fighting for. So get creative. Think of some other ways to solve this. Ultimately, if you, you know, it might come down to you get two weeks and that's it. You can't take unpaid time off. Then you're going to have to make a tough decision there. But yeah, so I, you know, I can't really, really tell you much on that. Um, the, uh, again, I think I kind of addressed your second point. Um, can I talk about the thoughts on vacation and flexibility with regard to tech employees? Again, I think, you know, if you're working remote, you've got a little bit more leeway as well, right? So you, you're just going to have to kind of figure it out and, and see what, what the company is like. Uh, it's also something that you could potentially negotiate after you, you've gotten the job. Probably a little harder in that case. Um, I would try and get some of these things up front, but I would try to do it in a way where it's not a big deal, but hey, you know, can, can, can I do this? Uh, most of the time, I think a lot of companies that have remote employees are, are fairly flexible in, the, in that regard. Um, so yeah, so best of luck. You know, I, I realize it's probably very different. Um, the, the biggest thing though is like when you're comparing salaries, I would say, you know, a lot of people don't really calculate benefits and vacation and, and do the full calculation to see to see what it is because maybe this isn't a better position if you have to especially if you feel like you're going to have to work more than 40 hour weeks which again in Europe right <laughs> typically you know 40 hour weeks are less and you as typically some startups 50 60 70 hour weeks is the standard so you kind of got to know what you're what you're doing there because that that could really affect the amount of work life balance amount of time you spend in the office and, and uh, that might be even more important than vacation so hopefully that helps you. Uh, good question. Thanks for, for sending this in. Uh, if you think that this question might help someone else, this video, uh, you know, share the video. Definitely would appreciate if you uh, subscribe to the channel if you like these videos and you'll keep getting more of them. So thanks a lot and I will talk to you next time. Take care.